Joe, I want to begin from the main topic. What is iExec initially? So iExec is the first blockchain-based, fully distributed cloud platform. It changes the way we do cloud computing a lot. Uh, so we are relying on the blockchain and in particular on the Ethereum smart contract technology to create a sort of decentralized marketplace where everyone can monetize their servers, their applications and their data sets. Where can this middleware be implemented? I've heard about one hidden project you've presented on Ethereum's DevKins a second. So to develop iExec, we are putting together two different technologies. One is the blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain in particular. And the second one is distributed computing. So distributed computing, we developed a set of software um, during this past decade that allows to put together machines uh, distributed on the internet to execute very large parallel applications. And so this technology, for instance, there is the Extreme Web HTTP software, are very mature. They have been there for a decade and they are now what they use in uh, scientific, for scientific computing. So they are very mature technology that works very well. They have a lot of very advanced features. And putting those two technology compu together, distributed computing and blockchain computing, this is the way we design and we are developing uh, iExec at the moment. And what is the main destination of iExec? Yeah, so with iExec, we are addressing three main categories of application. The first category is what we call the dApps. The dApps, these are those distributed applications that run using the Ethereum blockchain. And so for those applications, at the moment, the Ethereum virtual machine gives them a very low capacity for their execution. So at the moment, for a developer, when he wants to develop um, a smart contract, he has only very few capacity for processing, for storage, and to access the data. So the first use of iExec is to give those distributed applications, the dApps, a way to access an infinite amount of uh, computing resources by doing off-chain computation. So those smart contracts running on Ethereum, they will be able to go off-chain to execute very uh, demanding, uh, any kind of demanding uh, computation. So that's very important. That's really going to change the way we are doing at the moment uh, dApps. The second category of application, these are the legacy applications that exist now before Ethereum existed, for instance, and that have a high, you know, a high requirement for their computation. So here think of everything that is about simulation, uh, big data, and this machine learning, this kind of, um, of application. And so those applications, they will go on the iExec cloud because iExec is a very competitive environment and of course, because it's competitive, you can have new providers that offer their infrastructure uh, at a lower price than traditional, like for instance, uh, Amazon uh, Web Service. And the third category of, of application, these are the distributed applications that will come in the future and for which we already know that the cloud as it exists now is going to be a bottleneck. Why is that? It's because those distributed applications are going to generate a lot of data in a very distributed way and we know that putting those data up to the centralized cloud is just not feasible and not possible because the network is going to be a bottleneck. So here you can think on everything which is like IoT, Internet of Things, uh, that generate a lot of data. And you don't want the data to go back and forward between the producer and the consumer. So here the distributed cloud like iExec is really a solution and is an enabler for those applications. Tell us please about the roadmap of project in just a few words. So iExec is, a, is an, it's an ambitious uh, project. We have a roadmap for the next four years. And in the white paper, we define very precisely uh, five different versions of the, the software. So the first version that we're going to demo at DevCon 3 in uh, Mexico will allow the dApps to do off-chain computation. So that's really important because we think that for the developers uh, who are at the moment developing those dApps, it's going to be a huge, huge, huge added value. It's going to change a lot of things in the Ethereum um, uh, community. The second version, which is scheduled one year uh, later from now, so May 2018, uh, will allow to have this uh, distributed cloud 
where you have a huge, uh, you have this big market, decentralized market, where everyone can monetize their servers, their applications, and their data sets. Uh, then after this, we're going to elaborate a set of what we call enterprise ready feature. So this is really important because in the future, you have to imagine that uh, what uh, uh, companies and enterprise would come and go to this uh, cloud computing uh, infrastructure, which is distributed. And for this, it's really important to give uh, enterprise specific set of feature, in particular with everything that is related to uh, trust, to security, to management, uh, to uh, quality of service, uh, monetization, payment model, etc. Et so this is a very significant part of the roadmap. But for us, we think that it's, we have to do this unless that you know there will be no business running on the, on this cloud and so it, it, it won't be sustainable um, and then the fourth edition is about high performance computing that's really something important because what you have to understand is that at the moment um, because the mining in ethereum is done using gpus they are really um, potential for doing high performance computing using those gpu so here we have a set of uh, applications, like for instance, deep learning, that we can run on the iExec cloud because we know that there is a large amount of uh, huge computational provide, uh, power provided by those uh, GPUs. As far as I know, you're a researcher at National Institute for Research in Computer Science in France. Are we expected to see some more innovative projects from you and your team? So yes, I'm, uh, at the moment I'm still a researcher at uh, INRIA. INRIA is one of the main research institutes for computer science in Europe. It's more than 3,000 researchers spread over all France. And my partner, Hayou He, uh, is professor at the Chinese Academy of uh, Science. So what's important to notice is that uh, I'm living in RIA, of course, to be 100% uh, uh, working on uh, iExec. I'm going to be the CEO for this uh, company. So we are using some research uh, coming from the research and distributed system, but iExec is a fully it's a company incorporated in France. We also we also have uh, offices in uh, Beijing. We are incubated at the moment by the Tsinghua uh, University, so it's really important. Tsinghua is like the MIT in China. So iExec is a company. It's a fully I mean it's a full uh, commercial project. I mean at uh, doing business in this area and enabling people to do business um, with us. So unfortunately, as a researcher, I won't have any uh, future um, activity. But of course, there are going to be a lot, a lot of innovation coming from uh, the iExec project. We've been doing distributing computing for 15 years, and we are going to continue to do this. Uh, in the scope of this uh, iExec company. Thanks for the interview.